Today we're covering the 3Scan extension for SketchUp. 3Scan is a SketchUp-based design tool for engineers. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to download and install the 3Scan extension, as well as how to get started drawing conceptual pipe and channel systems. I'll also be using the Space Mouse Wireless to help me navigate more efficiently during design. As usual, if we cover anything you're unfamiliar with in SketchUp, you can ask questions in the comments below or browse our entire library of video tutorials on our website. But for now, let's get started with this tutorial. ThreeScan is an extension that you can find on the extension warehouse. So to start, you'll want to go to the extension warehouse and search for 3 -scan. You can click on any of these three results since they will all lead to the same extension. And then click Get This Extension. You'll jump to 3 -scan's website where you can click on the Download 3 -scan button. You should know that 3 -scan is a PC-only extension. I'm on a Mac, but I can get around this limitation by running it on a virtual Windows machine. Once it's downloaded, Run the 3 scan installer and follow the instructions to install and activate the extension. Then the last step will be to restart SketchUp so you can begin using 3 scan When you restart, you should find the 3 scan toolbar appears over here on the left. Alright, now that we have 3 scan installed, let's give it a spin. First, we'll make sure we have our tools installed. Now I already have access to the pipe, channel, and steelwork tools. You can tell by the green check marks next to those tools here in the client window. If this is your first time using 3Scan, you'll want to click the link to add the tools first. Here where my screen says the tool is already bought, you'll have a link to activate a 60-day free trial to each of these tools. So go ahead and do that, and remember to restart SketchUp to be able to use these tools. Oh, and one more thing. I'm going to start out by drawing a simple vignette so that I have a little context for this tutorial. Okay, so we're ready to start using 3 -scan. I'll start by taking a look at the pipe tool. The first thing I want to point out is the tools in 3 -scan all require you make several clicks or choices along the way before you can complete a particular action. So for example, with the pipe tool here, I'll click where I want to start drawing the pipe on the top of this box. Then I'll click again on the icon here for straight pipe. Then I'll click to set the pipe's radius and then I'll click again to set the pipe length. Now we're drawing in conceptual mode here so the pipe has no thickness and it's also closed on both ends. One of the key things to understand is that once you have a pipe drawn, there's a pin at either end. In this case, while still in the pipe tool, you can click on the pin and select to create an elbow. Your next click is to pick the direction of the elbow. Notice you can hover over the tick marks here to snap to a particular angle as well. The third click is to pick the angle. Again, you can snap to tick marks to help you select the degree. The fourth click is to set the bending radius, and you can hover over the inferences to pick from pre-configured options, and you're done with the elbow. So as you get comfortable with this tool, you'll just keep repeating these steps. Click on the pin, select the kind of pipe, and then you should also get used to looking at the bottom left of your screen for tool tips that will remind you what each new click is about. Notice too that sometimes it's difficult to find the inference you're looking for depending on your view angle. So you'll also want to get comfortable navigating to a better view while you're drawing to help you pick the right inference. I just use my space mouse wireless to navigate there with my left hand while continuing to model with my right. And if we follow the tooltips at the bottom left, we can work our way through drawing a pipe and elbow together here. So I'll just quickly draw in another elbow here. and then I'll draw another straight pipe. Then I'll add a reducer. After picking the length, it has me pick the diameter. Here again, I'm using the space mouse to get a better angle on the selection I just made. I've just added the space mouse navigator to my workflow over the last couple of months. It took a week or two of getting used to it, but already it feels like a smoother, more natural way to move around my model. After picking the diameter, I need to pick the offset. And it can be tough to see the inferences, so again, it's helpful to navigate to a better angle while drawing so you can pick the inference you want. 
Then I'll navigate to see the pin underneath and I'll pick the flex pipe option. This one's pretty cool. You pick the pin and then you navigate around here and click on the box and the tool will do the rest. It'll just draw in the curvy pipe. In drawing this conceptual pipe system, you can now see how the three scan tools make it more efficient than trying to do the same thing using SketchUp standard tools. But I think three scan's real power is that it treats this as a true system. So for example, if you take the edit tool here, you can click to move a pipe up and it will edit the attached pipes and adjust the entire system. What's also pretty cool is that if you go back to the pipe tool and click on a part of the system, like say one of these straight pipes, the tool is smart enough to know that your only option here is to add a T-piece. So let's do that. You can set the length, pick the position, select the rotation angle, select the T diameter, and then set the height. And now the T piece is integrated into the system. Okay, so we've managed to draw this conceptual design for a pipe system, and we've incorporated each of the pipe piece types available to us. One other tip before we move on. 3Scang has done a good job of adding tutorials for each tool. So if you ever need a refresher, click on the tool in question, and then look over here at the tutor panel in the client window. And then you can click on this tab up here for another window of additional tutorials related to the tool you have activated. So this is a good place to come back to if you need to remember how to use a particular tool. Okay. One more tool we have to cover briefly. Let's click on this channel tool. Just like the pipe tool, you'll go through a series of clicks to draw your channel. So first we'll pick a straight channel. Then we can use this ruler interface to pick a width. And again, we'll go through the same thing to pick a height. And the next click is for length. And you're done. Similar again to the pipe tool, click on a pin to continue drawing an elbow. Now here, instead of the protractor interface that we had with the pipe tool, you can hover over and click on the arrows here at 90 degree increments to pick the elbow rotation angle. Then pick the angle, and then the bending radius. And you can see how this is all really similar to the pipe tool. So just two more things here. We'll draw a T piece, and first pick the length, then the angle, here you can use the four arrows or hover over the hypothetical surface so you can see the green and blue inferences. I'll pick the green in this case. And still a couple more clicks. Next is the channel width for the T, then height, and then length. And you can see how you have to be patient as you go through the steps to make sure you make all of the right choices. Last element I want to add here, let's create a reducer. Now we can tell 3Scan whether this will reduce to a square end or a circular end. And it's just one click for length, and then another to determine the radius for the circular end. So that's a quick intro to the pipe and channel tools in 3Scan. Now there's a lot more features we can cover with this plugin, and we'll do that in an upcoming episode. But for now, that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.